Alright, so we kind of gave you a quick rundown of the SAM system, but it's really going to be about the nozzle this year. So the big innovation this year is the nozzle, so let's step up here real quick. And so you can see right here we have our SAM nozzle. So what we're doing, we're going to accomplish a few things here. In the first few minutes of a fire, we're going to give people the opportunity to charge their own line. So whether you don't have a lot of manpower or your whole crew wants to work together, you know your truck operator, they can focus on getting water versus dealing with the attack line themselves. So all you have to do, if you notice, there's a button like this on each side. I'm going to squeeze the buttons. It just takes a couple seconds. We're going to see the flash. And then we're going to charge the line. The simulator takes a second for the water. There it goes. So on the fire ground, it's pretty similar. So we're simulating like the hose line charging smoothly. It doesn't just ram the water. The SAM system, whether it has a nozzle or not, is going to charge the lines very easily. And then once you're on water, you can see here you have an indicator. These three lights, green means you have a full tank, yellow means you're about half a tank, red means you're at low tank water, and flashing red means you are out of water. So I'm going to run down here. I'm going to switch this over to hydrant. I want you guys to see this change blue. So this is a huge deal. We can, we can now tell the people on the fire, inside the fire, that they're on hydrant water, or maybe they've made draft. You know, it's a big deal when you're in a fire and you're working and you're attacking the fire load. Sometimes you're nervous about where your tank water is. You're hoping your crew's outside getting it, getting it done. So this way, when you see this turn blue, you know you've got your secondary water source so you can stay in there and stay at work. All right, so one last thing about this nozzle. Everybody talks about friction loss. So it's really important to have the proper nozzle pressure, right? So we have a sensor in here. It actually tells the SAM truck what this nozzle pressure is supposed to be. So now the truck and the nozzle work together to figure out friction loss, kink detection, hose burst. We can do all these things with this nozzle now. The technology is continuing to expand. So, you know, we're just trying to figure out, you know, what are all the things we can fix on the fire ground when we start putting all this technology together. You know, information always helps us.